objectives. Of course, this is to calculate a useful life for all three racing compounds in distance. This way, can translate these results to any track in the game. But I then went into a little more detail and categorized the laps within each test session. First are the normal laps when tires are new, where your max performance will be. At some point that performance falls off and you may need to modify your driving. Lap times here take a slight jump up, nothing egregious, just not several seconds, but I found myself consistently behind my personal best times. Eventually though, the party does end and you will just struggle to get the car around or even keep it pointed in the right direction. I will also note a max distance, which I defined as when the first tire is 100% worn. This way, each session has a fixed data point for comparison. Testing method. I ran all three racing compounds at four different wear rates each. That's a lot of laps and I won't bore you with clips of each session, but as I discuss each compound, I will start with one or two important points before getting into the data. I did each run in the same car at the same track with the same race and car settings, all this to isolate the effects of tire wear as much as possible. I drove until I had one tire wear out 100% as just mentioned. And I drove at a normal, no mistakes pace, not for record lap times. This being done in a group three car, it's unknown how it will translate to other groups. I think it would be interesting to compare tire life across all four groups in GT7. This video, however, is meant to give others, and myself, a starting point for developing tire strategy. Now, without further delay, let's talk about results. With the soft tires, I found the point where performance dropped off rather consistent across the different wear rates. Right about halfway worn is when I really started to notice the effects, even though lap times creep up before then. Jump ahead, I am in the struggle category by now. Looking at the lap times, this captures my three categories quite well. An early personal best, and the lap times creep up, but are in a nice range until the grip just falls away and, well, can see the result here. Each distance shown is the distance traveled within that category. The total of all three equals the distance at which the first tire became 100% worn. Below that is what I call base useful life. It is a subtotal of normal and modified, and in my eye, the most important number on your screen in terms of formulating tire and pit strategies. Up next, medium tires. The initial performance on mediums was a lot closer to the soft tires than I expected. My better times were well into the 140s, which overlaps the soft tire times quite a bit. However, that max performance window felt proportionately shorter with the mediums, and you'll see this reflected in the normal laps category. Overall, the mediums lasted eh, roughly twice as long as the soft tires. The biggest takeaway though is that shorter initial performance window, which will come into play if you're trying some alternate strategy or thinking about an undercut or an overcut. First impressions, new hard tires feel like partially worn mediums. Even felt I had to drive in a similar manner based on the grip available. Also, I felt the rate the performance degraded on the hard compound was closer to what the soft tire was like as opposed to the way the mediums behaved. Per my results, hard tires lasted roughly three times what soft tires last, but now let's check out some summary data. I gathered all my base useful life distances in one table. Reminder, this is with fuel use turned off. With four data points on each compound, I felt I had enough data to predict useful life at other wear rates. I think I could create some interesting lobbies with this data. I am excited to try out a few races utilizing my results. So if you're still with me, let's go over a quick example. The upcoming round four of Nations Cup will be at Watkins Glen and luckily in group three. 
Per the Gran Turismo website, all leagues appear to have 20 laps with four times tire wear and one times fuel. My data is with fuel off, but should still be a good starting point. Take the four times base useful life from the previous table, divide by the length of the track, and you get an estimate of about 10 laps on the soft tires, and it looks like you can go the whole race on medium and hards. My guess is there will be a required tire change though, and as a clockwise circuit, there is a question of how quickly the left side tires will wear down. This is just a baseline number, but making this calculation has been the whole point, and this process is the same with any other track. Final thoughts. First unanswered question of mine, how does fuel use affect tire life? Many variables do account for with fuel use, so it might be tough to design a test to actually give relevant results. Second, the useful lives no doubt vary between each group of cars. All else equal, I wouldn't expect any tire to last as long in group one as with group three. And lastly, I'm very interested to see if the ratio of useful life between each compound holds relatively true within each group. Remember, medium went about twice as far as soft, hards about three times as far as soft. I would expect that to be the case with any car, but you just never know. Well, that was a lot of data to get through. I hope you found something useful in all of it. So as always, thanks for watching.